DVD. The two invaders coming in in winners finals facing off. <laughs> yeah, let's go Dallas <laughs> in the background. You know, just kind of chilling out. You know, watching, enjoying. Looks like you're going Mewtwo versus the Diddy. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. I think, I mean, obviously, Esam has talked about how uh, how Pikachu kind of beats beats Diddy pretty solidly. Uh, I think this is just Esam working on his character. I see Esam too, so maybe we're rocking a different tag, different different, different controls. Control yeah, I do the same thing with mine as well. <laughs> the deck too. Um, right, because the. I mean, with Luigi, you need a perfect pivot down smash. Right, exactly. Yeah. I need that real bad. Uh, I would imagine that he just he doesn't speed you with Pikachu. Yeah, Mewtwo. that would make sense. Uh, but I definitely could see him speed you with Pikachu, of course. Mm. Pretty even game. Um, that's not going to be it. No, not unless he holds straight out. <laughs> but definitely not going to happen here. Mewtwo's really light. Like, a little bit more than that could have actually been it. Ooh, nice. That should be it. Yep. That down to really, really good at securing space on the ledge. Border not too bad itself, though. <laughs> Building him a little bit of room here to work with. Ooh, that's cute. I really like that. Command grab from the ledge. Hard to deal with. Hard to react to. Especially Diddy's got a lot faster than most characters can with the command grabs from the ledge. It's, uh, you just got to expect it. Ooh, that was just drag him off the platform. Yeah, that ledge flip could have led to a lot of damage. Mewtwo's actually really, really good at setting that kind of thing up. Hey. So all of his moves just drag you all over the place. That Nair especially. If he didn't have too much of a charge on Shadow Ball, maybe could have gone for a reset, get some big, get some big damage. Just opted for an up tilt. That's okay. We take that safe damage. Yeah. Ooh, trading with two up smashes. And man, wow, just calling him out. See that? That side B's uh, it's kind of risky. It's definitely like a power play because like, if you miss the side B when they're on the platform, you'll go right past them. It's not like you're dead, but you give up all of stage. That's gonna be it. Right. Yeah. Wow. Calling out that side B. Was it side B? Yeah. yeah. Giving up position like that is always terrifying because it's like, if you make the read, you are in a huge advantage. But when you mess up, now you've decided to give up your lead on on a win. You know, it's kind of funny, like. We think of we think of stage position as a huge lead, which is absolutely true, especially in this game where the ledge is like actually a bad place to be. Yeah, the ledge is a terrible place to be. Like melee, ledge be is your safe. friend. You get invincibility and you can hit people invincible. You know, it's kind of sick. Uh, but this game, a lot a lot different. I was talking to Ark, who Ark is a top 100 melee player, and we we're talking about the difference between the games. Uh, wait, did we just see it? Double counter pick? Yep. Pikachu versus Mario. Oh. Both warming up their secondaries. I don't, I don't think okay. that's a thing. Maybe it's pretty agreed on. It was pr probably. We'll, we'll go with it. Uh, I think, I wonder if e Sam still goes corn for this matchup. I think he's specifically doing Pikachu Mewtwo and Mewtwo for this matchup. Okay. I could be wrong, but I think he's leaning more towards just focusing on the two characters. I bet these two play in tournament all the time. I would be surprised. Ooh, those. Oh, Ooh. we're dead. Just one mistech is all it takes. Yep. Those auto cancel down airs are so hard to fight against. Oh my goodness. <laughs> almost went for it. Almost got his jab reset of his own. Can you imagine if, uh, if the just random chance of spinning animation happened below 100%? Pikachu would be a lot scarier. I don't even want to. I, no, no, it's already you. a scary thought, like, of not being able to do that, but, like. I feel like Pikachu doesn't have the most setups after 100, but at that point, he's got up through Thunder. Mm -hmm. but. I actually didn't, uh, before this tournament, I didn't know uh, MVD had Mario. Yeah, it's been it's been something in the works for, for a myriad of characters that you just didn't feel super comfortable with. Mm. But I've definitely seen it more than once before. Yeah, he pulled that out versus Gibbous, right? Yes. To great effect. I think Mario is a pretty good option against Lucario if you don't think your Diddy is going to be hitting the confirms that you need as quickly as you need. 
That's kind of weird too, because Mario's not a. Uh, Mario doesn't have these crazy kill confirms like some of these other characters. So I'd imagine Lucario would live a long time in that matchup as well. You think? But then Lucario has like a huge trouble landing against Mario, and it's a lot harder for him to set up for the kills because he's just such a frame bully. Mm -hmm. The quick frame data is the biggest thing. That's true. I get to. I actually can see that. I mean, that's what Lucario struggles with. He's a. Uh, He's got very mediocre frame data. Yeah. You know, not a super, super fast character or anything like that. What do you, He what makes do you up for it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, but. <laughs> sad. Did you see my tweet? No. I don't think so, unless it was. I tweeted it. I tweeted. This is before Sue got second. It okay, okay. I don't think I saw it. I tweeted out. I was like, what feels worse? Option A. I did see this. Lucario back airing you at 40% and you die, or McDonald's saying welcome back when you pull up to the drive.